After a two-year hiatus, the LA Pride Parade took over the streets of Hollywood. The return comes as politicians across the country push for anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. Los Angeles Bureau reporter Emily Miranda speaks with parade goers and participants about what pride means to them. Pride, I see you, I hear you, I support you, one love. Los Angeles resident Olivia Mae Langford and her friends celebrate their first Pride Parade. They are among thousands of new and returning spectators. They are here to celebrate this year's theme, Love Your Pride, a message of inclusion and acceptance. And being here with my friends is just a wonderful feeling and seeing everyone else here, like being themselves unapologetically, like that's what I strive to be and I'm so glad to be here. Floats, bands, and drag queens helped celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. The parade followed a new route on Hollywood Boulevard this year, the original parade route from 1970, when LA Pride became the first in the world to get a permit. They missed the 50th anniversary in 2020, and after a two-year pandemic hiatus, celebrated as thousands lined the streets. Los Angeles residents Mike and Alyssa Wazabo came to support their daughter Lorraine Rigo. And for them, it means a lot to be back. Every different person, doesn't matter race, ethnicity, everybody enjoying themselves and nobody judging. That's the best part of it all. More than 130 groups participated, including the Gay Men's Chorus of Los Angeles, Classroom of Compassion, and Grand Marshal Sir Lady Java. One performer with a message to his performance, Emmett O'Reilly, says, I'm telling everybody it's okay. It's okay to be gay. I mean, this isn't Florida where you can't even say gay. Here we go, gay, gay, gay. And love is love. So it's nice to be able to do that in public and let everybody know that it's all right. While LA Pride may be coming to an end, with the LA Pride Parade, residents in Phoenix can soon look forward to their own celebration. Phoenix Pride will take place October 15th through the 16th. In Los Angeles, Emily Miranda, Cronkite News.